everybody it's Melissa again and uh, I've learned a few things since my first video earlier in the day I wanted to show you all my paper bag album that I made this was my first attempt at a paper bag album and it came out okay there are a few things I'll do differently probably so let's get started it's prima flower and uh, as you can see this is titled journey uh, these are the flowers that came from Michael's in a jar. I don't recall the exact name of them, but they're kind of bronzy color. They're really pretty. The Suprema that I have pink and blue ink on. And, uh, I have all kinds of sticky pearls and bling and the fleur de -lis. Those are from, from Michael's, I believe. They came in a pack. And, uh, just a minute and I'll look right here. They are Jolie's Boutique. That's what they are. Okay, so, sorry about that wobbly camera. Anyway, I'm doing this with my phone, as y'all know, so. Let's open it up and see what we got. First, we have a tag. It's got a little flower on it. And I made this tag with chipboard. Let me move up so the light will show. I used plain chipboard. Then I embossed it. And I antiqued it. And I wiped off the... I used acrylic paint and wiped off the paint. So it's black. With green. Although you can't tell it. Okay, let's open up here. Alright. I embossed this first page, or at least part of it, with my cuddle bug, the swirl embossing folder. This first tag I embossed it also, and I used those shimmer pearl things. It's the first time I ever used those. And I have three flowers. I stamped this one with my French writing stamp that I love so much. Got a journaling spot on the back, and I used that that paper clip to hold on the button. Okay. Here's the second tag. I used a combination of flowers with a bling in the middle and a journaling spot. Use some accent essentials on the paper. And another flower with some stickles in the middle. And I used a magnet behind that flower to hold this tag on. Works pretty well. Okay, there's another tag in here with, I love this stamp, I've done this before. I do it all the time actually. An old button that I painted journaling spot with a stamp. This is a pocket. Let's see. I used my cuddle bug embossing folders for this and I did two top notes. I cut them out with my Cricut and then on one of my embossing folder sets it came with the cutting and embossing so I used it to cut this little design out and if you can see I'll do it against a white background I put transparency in the middle and I dyed it with alcohol ink green then I took a brown ink pad stress ink pad and wiped over the embossing I did the same thing just different color on this side and then I trimmed it in a gold paint pen And this is the pocket page it came out of. This is the next page. I used a transparency to make a frame. I cut this out with my cuddle bug. And I stamped the transparency with black stays on ink. This next page, I used my... EK 
K Success Border Punches. Looks kind of like top notes, doesn't it? And then I made a tag for this one. And I used a ribbon, two different types of ribbon. I used a combination of stamps, cardstock. This is the other side. Big background stamp. Love this green. Okay, here's the next tag. I used a circle punch to make it look like a ticket. Prima flower with a button in the middle. And on this side, it's the same stamp that I used for the back of this one, just a different color. This one's embossed with copper. Some bling to hold the flowers on, and then another one of those paper clips. Okay, I'm going to stop and start new. See ya.